Hello everyone, this is Chase Pounds. In today's video, we will be we will be discussing about how Black Americans have been have been desensitized by European culture, society, and customs and norms. Uh, what brought me to the subject is uh, was a um, video called a, a um, talk show video called um, the Breakfast Club. And um, one of the people that they interviewed, a special guest, was was a um, yeah, like a an historian, by the name of Claude Anderson, African American historian, called great African American historian Claude Anderson. Or, well, because of this, I think I should say Black American because of some of the stuff he, he discusses. And um, one of the things he dis discusses is um how us as black people have been, um, I guess, brainwashed or, or desensitized by the norms of society, about how we, ever since, um, ever, ever since we've been brought here, brought here since the 1500s, since the, since the first, since, since he claims that the Jesuits were the first to, in, to enslave the first blacks, the first Africans, and then he, Africans, and since then he claims that we've been doomed from the start. And um, he all, he discusses about how we've been, I guess, backwards and thinking about how uh, of racism and and thriving and success and this. One of the things he's he's brought up is um. Is how um sometimes we um we think backwards about um uh, such as with um he criticized Martin Luther King for example about how African Americans African African Americans uh, were trying to do um. In the fifties and sixties, are trying to desegregate them, um, but but the the but the bus system, such as the famous Montgomery bus boycott in nineteen fifty six. But he mentions how in North Carolina, where he was from, that African Americans, that um, that um, that his family had owned a bus company, a black owned bus company that was that was thriving. Also, he mentioned he even had a taxi company that was thriving, off of thriving during the height of the segregate era of segregation, Jim Crow. But he he thought it was, but then he um Chris, but then he um talked about how in Montgomery, uh, they're handling of desegregating the bus buses that blacks all of a sudden want the move want blacks want to um integrate into the white all white buses, and to him that didn't make sense. He even says that um that wrote his family business kind of drove his his family business down down because of that because more blacks were riding on the white bus on the all white bus companies bus buses he thought that the whole thing that about the Montgomery Bus Club was that they just integrated integrated blacks to an all white all white bus, but yet white people stopped riding, but blacks just wanted to ride on the white bus, where blacks should have just been trying to drop, trying to create their own bus system, try to model his family of how they should have their own, had their own bus company. And he also made another example of how um, during a, um, a um, press a press um he was at a um event in Florida, like a um, like a um, just like a um seminar meeting or some class seminar class, where a man was giving a speech, and he was a um politician, a um governor, I think. He talked about how he he went to get some ice. Ice after his speech, he went to get some ice. Instead of going, he went to, first. He went to the black. Black um. The black um. 
convenience store, you know. And the ice there he didn't like because it had lumps in it. But then he went to the white, he went to the white convenience store and got the white people's ice, implying that the white people's ice was better and was better textured than the black ice. And this kind of made me think, thinking that we tend to, um, as, I think as blacks, not every black is this, people think this way. I'm not saying all blacks are cu- accustomed to this, but I think we've been brainwashed that anything that's considered as, as white is, um, is more favorable, more, more, I guess, in different ways, more favorable, more attractive, more, um, more, um, more accepted than something that's of our own culture and embrace our own culture and start our own thing. And, and um, a perfect example of this is is also in a documentary we used to watch in colors. We lo- um, in colors um they mentioned the different varieties. We like to get the fanciest homes that the white people have. We like to live in the na- fancy neighborhoods that the white people have or buy the expensive cars that the white people have. As for women, for black women, we sometimes they sometimes like to dye their hair. They like to have the like the, the straight hair. They like to dye their hair blonde, which I can't st- can't stand the blonde hair, and um, or dye different colors as well. I can't stand it either. But other examples, we examples with black men, we like the date. We like to date white women, or black women like to date white white men. You know. They, Say as a dead example in the documentary, they say that um that we like anything that's European, European instead of anything that's African or our own heritage. And um, I think I'm somewhat not somewhat guilty of this too. I kind of had a like a little preference, uh, like a little fetish for white for for white women, and I'm not putting black women down or anything, but. I, I think ever since I was a little kid, I always had a um, had like a um preference, of like again a fetish for 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 white women, white girls, girls because of, I guess mainly because of what I've been exposed to on TV, and I grew up watching a lot of I guess nostalgic shows, great nostalgic shows like classic shows like The Brady Bunch, Marsha Brady, or um as well as Janet as well, Janet Janet Brady, um, Partridge Family, Lori Partridge. Um, Marlo Thomas, that girl, um, Barbara Eden, I Dream a Genie. Uh, even even as a little kid, um, even before I had a kind of construct of of um, what's what's race and what is racism and, and um, that, that analyzing that type of notion, but um, I um had I was kind of had a, a I kind of did favor white kind of have favorite white girls if you say um and like the um. Animated um, anime show Sailor Moon, which is it, it was supposed to be a Japanese a, a anime, an Asian cartoon, but um, the way they they um depict the the girls and it is they have long flowing hair, um, blue eye blue eyes, of course, pale skin, and of course it's kind of I guess the um going back I guess I'm not sure that's perpetuating a lot of the old fascist idea. of the German Aryan race of, of Nazi Germany during World War Two, that um the the of the, uh, the perfect um blonde hair blue eyed um Aryan Germans, but um that was one thing I I gravitated to, and I also like um the, the famous actors actress Linda Blair from some of you of the younger generation might not be familiar with her, but some older gen middle age or elder generation may know her from. The 1973 classic film *The Exorcist*, and I um always I never really saw *The Exorcist*, but um, I always thought she was an attractive lady girl. I used to own the doc. I still own it. Um, a documentary about Linda Blair. She was to me as a kid. She was attractive. Uh, Jody Foster as well for *Freaky Friday*, or um, even Lindsay Lohan from the remake. But, I, but my point is, I always had a, I guess, been guilty of. Of, um, I'm not saying well. I wouldn't even say it was, it, it was anything guilty. I just had an interest for wh- white girls. I still do. Not that I, I have anything against black women. I am. I have 
made friends with black women when I was in high school and college. But I'm just an example of how I think on society we've been desensitized by, I guess, pop culture and media about what's about Europeans about think about um I'm not sure they be brainwashed by society that um anything that's white or that's European is more favorable or more attractive or more appeasing or accepting than something that's our own culture. This maybe feel free to comment on this topic. I thought I thought, I thought time thinking about it was someone interesting a top notion. This is another view by Chase Pounds. Thank you.